Hello everyone, it's Janelle. And today's video will be a little different. This video is a nail haul video of some recent nail polish additions. I'll show a few swatches of some recent drugstore buys, and also a few swatches from my first indie polishes ever from Gloss 48. I asked you on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and YouTube about your nail shopping questions, so here we go! Where do you buy most of your polishes and supplies? For nail polish, I buy from Amazon for difficult to find polishes or if I'm just too lazy to go hunting, Sally's Beauty because of the largest selection of colors and nail brands, and Target and Walmart for the prices. For nail art supplies, I mostly buy from sites like Born Pretty Store or Light in the Box or eBay or Amazon because it's much cheaper online than from beauty stores. Next question is, what nail brands do you use or buy the most? I like OPI, Nicole by OPI, Revlon, Sally Hansen, and Essie. Aside from the color selection, I like the brand's formulas, not too thick, and the formula is generally consistent across most colors. For inexpensive drugstore recommendations, I like Revlon, Sally Hansen, and Wet n Wild Mega Last. I've been using Revlon and Sally Hansen since way, way before I started YouTube and blogging, and the Wet n Wild Mega Last ones are surprisingly good. The next question is, how do I know if a certain polish is good or true to color? If I'm thinking about buying a new nail polish but I'm not 100% sure, I jump on my smartphone and look up swatches and quick reviews to see if it's worth it for me. What is your favorite strengthener, base coat, top coat, white, and black nail polish? My favorite strengthener is still OPI Nail Envy, cause if it ain't broke I won't fix it. As for base coat, C&D Sticky Base Coat is still my favorite, but lately I've been trying some new ones. My number one favorite top coat is still Sesh Vite. A few people have asked me about its safety, but I paint my nails in a well-ventilated area. It's up to you if you want to do the research and decide whether or not the product is right for you. And for white and black nail polish, I like OPI Alpine Snow and OPI Black Onyx. I've had these for quite a while, I use them very often in videos if you haven't noticed, and they haven't gotten gloopy on me. So now that we got the FAQ out of the way, let's talk about some recent nail tool buys. This is an acrylic brush holder slash organizer stand. I bought it from eBay for $4.48. It holds my brushes while I do my nail art. It's pretty self-explanatory. It stands up, stops the brushes from touching each other, and they won't land on places like the desk or the floor. This next item is a cool rubbery nail polish holder. I also bought this on eBay, I'll put the link below, for $1.29. It fits many bottle sizes and it gives the bottle some traction so it doesn't slip or tip over while I paint my nails. Here it is in action. Ooh, ah. And it's also good for these thin julep nail polishes too. No more worries about them falling over. Here is a fresh new bottle of OPI Nail Envy. I'm running out so I picked a new bottle up from Amazon. This one is for sensitive and peeling nails cause I have nails that tend to peel and this helps quite a bit. So let's move on to some nail polish. These little guys are Salon Perfect Nail Art Liners from Walmart. I think these were about $2 each. I like these because of the nice long tapered brush for nail art. Let's move on to some recent red, yellow, and orange shades. I bought this one for the Paris Nails video, it's the Revlon Scented Polish in China Flower. Very pretty, opaque with one coat, and I actually gave this to my mom yesterday because she liked it. This one is a Target clearance find from Sally Hansen. It's the Insta Dry line in Racy Rouge. I bought it because this line is awesome for stamping. This one is from the indie brand Super Chic Lacquer in Lost My Melon. The line is hand mixed, it's five free, vegan, and cruelty free. It's kind of hard to tell on camera, but this polish has some pink micro shimmer. Here's what it looks like on the nails. I think it's really pretty for summer or springtime. This one is another Target clearance find. It's Revlon Color Stay Marmalade. I think that orange is really lacking in my collection, so I picked this up. This next one is China Glaze Sun Worshipper. And again, I bought this because orange is severely lacking in my collection. This next one is from Maybelline. It's the Color Show Polish in Fierce and Tangy. This one is my first Maybelline Color Show Polish. I decided to try it out because why not? I also got this one as well. It's Maybelline's Bombshell Blue. It's also what I'm wearing in this video. I love the color, but unfortunately it was so gloopy and difficult to apply. 
Another blue shade that I got is the Sally Hansen Insta Dry in Blue Away. This one is like a robin's egg blue and it's really pretty for spring. Here are some more greens and blues. This one is from China Glaze, Grass is Lime Greener. And I believe this one is from the Spring 2014 City Flourish Collection. This one is a light, almost neon green. Another green to add to the collection, it's Sinful Colors and in Innocent. This one is a darker yellow base green. The next green is Tenacious Teal by Maybelline Color Show. Hopefully the formula isn't as bad as the other blue one that I just showed you. This next one is really pretty, it's the Revlon Color Stay in Coastal Surf. This one is a medium sky blue. This next one is Super Chic Lacquer in Bulletproof Betty. It has a gray cream base with blue and violet shimmer. This is three coats. It's really nice for a subtle nail look. This one is pretty similar. It's Gauntlet Girl and it's also a grayish base with purple and pink shimmer. This one was really hard to capture on film but the shimmer is much stronger in real life. Unfortunately, this one was a lot more sheer compared to the other one. This one is super pretty. It's China Glaze in a Lily Bit. This one is a very light pink toned purple. In this photo, I applied two coats. Super, super pretty for spring. I also got this CoverGirl Outlast Stay Brilliant Polish in Lavender. It's a little bit more blue toned than the other one. You can tell I love pastels. This orchid colored polish is my favorite of the whole line. It's Fuchsia Drive Me Insane. It has a fuchsia cream base with blue micro shimmer. On to the glitter polish. I added this one into the haul because I bought this recently from Amazon. It's the Zoya Nail Polish in Godiva. A neutral textured glitter polish. I used it in my recent Beach Nails video. This next one I found on clearance at Sally's Beauty Supply. It's the Gwen Stefani OPI Nail Lacquer in in true Stefani fashion. This one has large square holographic glitter bits with lots of tiny silver glitter. This one is Sally Hansen Triple Shine Nail Color in Fantasy. This one's a really pretty Tiffany blue glitter with tiny, tiny silver glitter within. From Target, I also bought these two Revlon Color Stay Brown polishes. The lighter one is Stormy Night and the darker one is French Toast. I have a lot of the regular colors like red, pink, blue for nail art if I don't have a good brown polish for certain looks kind of sucks so these are here for backup. I also got these two black and white polishes from one of my recent Julep Maven boxes. Like I said before I usually use OPI but I decided to get a couple backups because I always use black and white in my videos. Now onto the Gloss 48 giveaway. This giveaway is for the Indie Nail Polish line Super Chic Lacquer. They were sent to me by Gloss 48, a makeup discovery site that sells indie and niche makeup brands. For a little bit of background on them, new brands are introduced for one week on sale and then brought down to regular retail price on their site. The Super Chic Lacquer duos that I featured will be on sale starting on Gloss 48 on April 23rd, next Wednesday. And on the Gloss 48 site, you can use code Janelle for $10 off $30 or more from April 23rd to May 14th. The prizes are three different Super Chic Lacquer duos. The first one is the two different grays with the different micro shimmer. The second one is the coral and fuchsia polishes that I showed you earlier. The last one is Pocket Full of Posies. It's a rose pink base with a heavy pink shimmer. And Kiss by the Sun is a bright lemon yellow with aqua and pink shimmer. This giveaway is open to USA viewers only because unfortunately they don't ship outside the USA. You must be subscribed to my channel. You must also sign up on Gloss48 with your email or Facebook account. And then comment down below and share your favorite thing about spring. That's it for this video. Good luck and thanks for watching.